The New York Mets are playing some strong baseball right now. The team unveiled their City Connect jerseys on Friday before they got a win over the Dodgers in Los Angeles. Let's talk some Mets baseball and some Mets fashion. And we're going to do it with the host of the Subway to Shea podcast, the one and only Anthony Rivera. Anthony, how is it going? Doing great. Had a great win late last night into the early mornings for the Mets against the Dodgers and those City Connect jerseys, which we're going to get into. Uh, let I'm in. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to talk about it. <laughs> yeah, ready to talk about it. Not even planned this. I'm wearing some of the same colors that you will see in the City Connect jersey. And, and I want to give people a little bit of behind the scenes with you and I because we've been talking about what we thought the Mets City Connect jersey should look like for probably about well over a year now. And now they're here, and the Mets are going to start rocking them on Saturday, April 27th, and every Saturday home game throughout the season. What do you think of these jerseys now that they're here? You've seen them. What do you think of them? I really like them. I really like the story behind them, the promos that the Mets put out to show how it kind of solidifies the city and brings the city and connects the city together, hence City Connect. They really did that very well. And uh, just all the little tidbits that you get, you get the patch that's a subway token under the brim of the hat. You get to see the subway lines interconnecting. Uh, you even get the New York script that we like, the 87 New York script under the hat as well. And just like every little piece, I mean, even the stripes all the way down to the pinstripes where it's the you know circles and diamonds of the local and uh, express trains everything just they did i thought so well and uh i'm happy to see that that jersey goes with the initial hat because so because the one we saw with the you know the model it, it just didn't look well, right with the subway token but that n interlocking ny with the black and white and the new york script i mean not the new york script the, the new york block letters looks great yeah, I I like it. I'm a fan of the jerseys. I like it. And I did talk to some Mets fans also who were like, ah, oh, we don't like it as much. I wish there was a little more blue and orange in there. I think the purple touch there. I've heard some people say they want a little bit more purple. I think it's fine. I like the jerseys. I think they did, good, did a good job, excuse me. And I think what's impressive, Anthony, is they you can see how they really paid attention to the detail in this. And I think that's something when you look at new uniforms, alternate uniforms, when there's attention paid to the detail, as should be with these City Connect jerseys, I think that's a good thing. Definitely. Yeah, the attention to detail. You can even include the the charcoal looking like asphalt, uh, the 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 um, you know uh, sidewalk kind of style. That's a nice little touch. And I did the Queensboro Bridge on the hat. They did so many things to connect. Like I said, City Connect. Like that's what people, fans have to remember. This is not technically just the Mets jersey. Mm. They're representing the Mets, but it's more about the city that you're a part of and that you live in. So uh, the way that they did it, I think it was great and I, I really am excited to see them uh, play out on the field, uh, I think, next Saturday. Yeah, next Saturday, April 27th. That's the first time they will wear it on the field, so we'll see how all your favorite players look in those jerseys. Should be a good one. I think the Mets did a good job with this one. Now, speaking of the Mets, they've been doing a good job on the field because last night they knocked off the Dodgers for their 11th win in the last 14 games. Francisco Lindor, he hit a tie-breaking two-run homer in the seventh inning. Anthony, how big was that hit for Lindor? Do you think his bat is starting to wake up? Huge hit for Francisco Lindor, that game-winning home run. The Mets were kind of like starting to struggle a little bit because the Dodgers started creeping back and they tied. They ended up tying the game on a couple of errors by Joey Wendell. But Francisco Lindor, like he said on the press conference, it was all about picking him up, and that's what they did. These Every player on this team throughout this run that they've had have been able to pick each other up, and Francisco Lindor needed this hit in a bad way. Big two-run home run, changed the game, and I'm excited to see what he can do, especially from the left-handed side where he has struggled all season long. He's done great at batting righty, but now let's see if he can get himself going and be that full, complete Francisco Lindor we know he can be. Yeah, and you saw there in the video that we were showing for the viewers watching how much emotion he had after that home run. You knew how big it was, and obviously that helped lift the Mets to their victory out in L.A. Now the other Francisco on the team for the Mets, catcher Francisco Alvarez, he departed Friday's game with discomfort in his left thumb after jamming it in the second inning. Following the win over the Dodgers, manager Carlos Mendoza said he was, quote, pretty concerned about his catcher who was scheduled to receive an MRI exam. How concerned are you, Anthony, if the Amazons are without their second-year catcher for an extended stretch here? 
Yeah, if the manager's concerned, I'm most definitely concerned. This is a, a big blow if he's going to miss an extended amount of time. Obviously, I think Mike Puma from the New York Post said that T Tomas Nito was on his way to L.A. Uh, I think that Nito and I think Narvaez can hold it down, but now you're missing a a huge important bat in the lineup and with Brett Beatty still sidelined for I don't know how long it, it, this is a, a tough blow for the New York Mets like we need to get the bats going and the top of the lineup is key now we need to see more from Brandon Nimmo we saw some from Francisco uh, Lindor Pete Alonso, Jeff McNeil, these guys are going to be key because a lot of this Mets run has been from that bottom of the lineup to start the season. And with Alvarez out and with Beatty out, this team could, you know, get to a point where they start struggling again. And I don't want to see that. So uh, let's get this team going on the right track and maybe get J.D. Martinez up here at some point or even Mark Vientos. We need a, an extra bat up here. Yeah, the extra bats are going to be needed, and we'll see with those two players you just mentioned, Vientos and Martinez, if they're called up and what they can do and how Thomas Nito might be able to help out at catcher. Last thing for me, Anthony, considering that this team, they started the year 0-5, and they already have taken a game for the Dodgers in this weekend series, what has impressed you the most in this recent stretch where they've won 11 out of their last 14 contests? You know, this may be crazy sounding, but uh, during one of my podcasts, I mentioned the fact that you know, during a couple of these losses, the Mets have been able to show that they were able to fight back. They did it against the Braves. Uh, they did it against Kansas City. And those things, I think, are important for building this team and building the culture around this team to show that they have that comeback mentality. And they've done that. And they've played well. They even showed it last night. You know, going up 4 nothing, then, you know, getting tied from the Dodgers, who have a prolifically great offense, and able to still steal that game and take that game away. Uh, the Mets have been playing well, and I'm very excited to see this. I hope it continues. I know that the injury bug is starting to hit them, but look at what this team is doing without J.D. Martinez, without Kodai Senga. Edwin Diaz has not really even hit 100 miles per hour yet on his fastball. This team is still finding ways to win, and that's the name of the game. Win as many games as you can and to help yourself get into a postseason position. That is the name of the game. You play to win the game. Mets have been doing a lot of winning lately. As I mentioned, 11 out of their last 14. They will continue their three-game set with the Dodgers this weekend. That is Anthony Rivera joining me to talk about the City Connect jerseys, uniforms, excuse me, that have come out, and the Mets playing such good baseball. Anthony. Always good to talk some baseball with you. I'm hoping that you are going to purchase me one of these City Connect uniforms. I thought you were going to hook me up with that. That's what I heard. Somebody told me that. <laughs> I'll try. I'll, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Seeing what you can do is better than to know. I appreciate that. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate it. Thank you so much.